I was teaching a calculus class once and we were in the portion of the class where people were working on a worksheet. Everyone was in groups and they were solving math problems. And then the fire alarm went off. So everyone went outside. And that really is the motivation for this video because something really interesting happened when everyone went outside. Everyone sat down and started doing math just right there on the floor with their notebooks super content and I couldn't believe that people were actually still working on the math that we were covering in class. I thought we would go outside and everyone would just do something else but no people were doing math outside and it was a wonderful thing. In this video I want to talk about the benefits of doing math outside and how it can help you become better at math and it can bring an incredible amount of good things to your life. I am the Math Sorcerer and this is my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, consider becoming a subscriber today. Enhanced focus is huge. Natural environments can really help reduce distractions, allowing for better concentration on math tasks. If you don't believe me, try it. Next time you are stuck on a math problem, just go for a walk. Don't even take your book with you. Don't take any paper with you or a pencil. Just go for a walk and tell yourself, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go for a walk because I need to get some fresh air. And basically what this does is it kind of gives you like a mental reset. We're used to doing math indoors. You're probably doing math at home, maybe in your office or on the kitchen table. And so when you go outside, you're getting away from where you normally work on math and you're putting yourself in a different environment. Also, being outside, you know, gets you away from the computer, gets you away from your phone. So you're outside in nature. And sometimes that's when those, you know, key moments happen. That's when you figure out the really hard math problems. I had a friend in grad school. I forgot his name. I just remember he was, he was from the Middle East. And he always said that he did some of his best mathematics when he would go for walks. Reduced stress. Being in nature is known to lower stress levels, which can lead to improved math performance. People are always talking about how bad stress is, and it really is bad because if something is stressing you out, that means you're thinking about it and you're not thinking about mathematics. You know what I mean. When you have stuff going on in your life and you're trying to focus on learning, it is extremely difficult. You somehow have to put those things aside. You have to tell yourself, hey, I don't need to be thinking about all of those negative thoughts. I need to be focusing on positive things. I need to focus on learning. But it's really hard to just flip a switch and snap your fingers and tell yourself, hey, all stress is gone. You can try it. Some people can do it. It's called being mindful. It's called being self-aware. But it doesn't matter how good you are at that. We're human and we give in to stress often. And so one way to really reduce stress is to just get outside, go for a walk, find something you like doing, and it makes a huge, huge difference. Just yesterday afternoon, I was surfing in the ocean for about two hours and let me tell you, I felt incredible afterwards. Now I'm feeling it today. I'm pretty run down, but it was an incredible experience and I feel completely stress-free. Creativity boost. That's right. Being outdoors can help inspire creativity. It's those outdoor settings. You know, when you see pretty trees, pretty oceans, pretty sticks, pretty flowers, you see things that you don't normally see inside. You breathe the air that you don't normally breathe inside. You breathe that fresh outdoor air, and that, for some reason, helps you be creative. Also, being outside gives you a break, right? You're taking a break from mathematics most of the time. You're going for a walk. You're being out there, and that helps with creativity because it takes you out of your regular setting. Maybe you're used to being inside, and so by switching to that outdoor setting, it just really, really gives you a different perspective, and it can really help with creativity. I had a friend in graduate school who said that most of the time he would figure out his proofs while he was going on walks and while he was doing dishes. Now, doing dishes is not outside, but you can see the similarity to being outside you're away from where you normally work on math. And I think that sometimes 
really helps with with the creativity. Improved memory studies actually suggest that being outdoors can enhance memory function, aiding in the retention of math concepts. So if you feel like you're always forgetting things, try to find balance in your life, right? Maybe you're overdoing it. Maybe you're burnt out. So by being outside more and maybe even doing some math outside, changing your setting, it can help improve your memory retention. You'll just get better at mathematics and you're going to feel better about everything because you're outside, you're breathing that fresh air and you're getting some exercise. Greater motivation. This one is huge. Learning math in a new and stimulating environment can increase motivation and engagement. That's right. If you grab your math book, and you go outside and you go for a walk and you sit on a bench and you read it even for just 20 or 30 minutes, you are going to get so much out of that. For one, you're gonna learn some mathematics. Secondly, you're gonna get some fresh air, some sunshine. Thirdly, you're going to get some exercise which is proven to help people you know, learn. You know, It really helps clear your mind when you get some physical activity. I think a lot of people are always inside doing math and that's okay but over the long term i think it's better to have a good mix it's better to do some math outside as well and it's really fun to explore new places you know if you're going to go to a beach and do math at the beach that's exciting if you're going to go to a forest and sit under a tree and do math that's exciting maybe you want to do math in a cave i know i wouldn't i'd be a little too scared but maybe physical health is an obvious benefit of being outside and doing math. Combining math learning with outdoor activities promotes physical fitness and overall health. If you go for a 20 minute walk to a specific location like a park and you sit at the park bench for 20 minutes and then you walk home, I mean you've just gotten quite a bit of exercise and you've learned quite a bit of math. I consider that a successful day. You've worked on your mental health and you've worked on your physical health and it hasn't even taken that long. I cannot emphasize how important I think it is to be outside and to do some thinking outside. It really does make a difference. Emotional well-being, spending time in nature, has been linked to increased happiness and reduced anxiety. Everyone wants to be happy and everyone wants to feel less anxious. There's something about being outside and breathing the fresh air that our brains just appreciate. You know, I know that when the sun is shining, if I go outside and I go for a walk, I feel better. I feel great. And I think a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't go outside and they don't go for walks. I think you should start. I think you're going to notice it's going to make a big difference in your performance in mathematics and in the rest of your life. Appreciation for nature. This is one that I often become enthralled with. You know, you basically were combining mathematics with nature, and I think that can help cultivate and appreciation for the environment. Also, it's really interesting when you look at things in nature, you wonder how they're created, you know, why are they the way they are? How does math play a role in nature? A lot of times I look at the waves and I think about how we can model the waves of the ocean using, you know, trigonometric functions. It really is interesting stuff. Increased energy is one of the biggest ones. Fresh air and natural light can boost energy levels leading to more productive learning sessions. Being tired is one of the hardest things to overcome. Most people overcome it with caffeine, but you can also overcome it with fresh air and natural light. They even sell those fake lights. I think they call them happy lights, and people put them around their house because there's something about looking at light that helps people makes them feel better, it improves their mood, and for some reason, it gives people more energy. So just going for a quick walk is gonna make a huge difference in your energy levels so that you can do math outside, or if you prefer, you can come back and do it indoors. I do think, though, it's worth trying to do it outside. Maybe just take a book and go out there and do some reading. It's gonna make a difference. Life balance, this is probably the most important benefit to doing math outside or simply being outside more. Integrating outdoor math learning promotes a healthy balance between indoor and outdoor activities. If you continue to do math indoors, but maybe just try it. Try it for one day, go outside, go for a quick walk, take your book and read for 20 or 30 minutes. Maybe take a little you know, notebook and do a couple of problems you're going to notice a difference. You're going to notice that 
it feels different. It feels different to do math outside than it does to do math inside. One of the things you'll notice maybe is that it might feel a little bit more uncomfortable at first because you're not used to doing math outside. You're doing something that's out of your comfort zone. But I think that's important. I think it makes you a stronger person. And I think that being outside and doing math outside is going to help you learn math better. And it's going to help you in ways you can't even imagine in your life because you're getting exercise, you're getting fresh air, and you're learning. It's like the perfect combination. Overall, I think doing math outside is extremely beneficial. What do you think? Do you do math outside? Have you tried it? Are you going to try it? Do you think it's better to do math outside or math inside? Are there any benefits that you think that I forgot to mention in this video? I'm really curious to see what you think. If you have any advice for anyone, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, good luck and take care.